two words for me to describe this atmosphere. Shit show. The people, the crowd, the, the activities, it's all totally absurd, and I'm way into it. Corey Bowen, I'm hanging fat. When the US Open comes to town, it is absolute madness. It's the biggest beach party you've ever seen, and people just get a little crazy. Naked flags hit me in the face. I don't think there's parents in California. It's like a big, weird tan orphanage on the beach. Overdeveloped Mad Max children with bikinis. Oh, no. We were here in town for the Van Doren Invitational. We just got the Vans Bowl and we're just about to have a little practice before everyone gets here and just warm up and then qualifying starts later on at midday. The bowl is sick. I actually rode the original bowl in Marseille in around 2000. So I can appreciate firsthand what it, what's going on here. And it's really rad to see these dudes, like an eclectic group of riders riding this thing on the beach. I'll, I'll be up here at uh, HB all week. I got a room. <laughs> what the fuck? Drop that share. Yeah, just. This... Oh, sorry. I'll call you back. Then. I'm just shooting photos. <laughs> You'd think minivan parts would be easier to find. It seems to have a bit of everything. It's got like deep, scary stuff, and it's got a spine and some good quarters, and it all flows pretty good, and it's all tight, so like you don't really get lost. There's always something to hit. It's just really good fun riding with everyone on the beach, and everyone's having a good time. Working way, putting on the throttle. What? Yo! As soon as I got the invite and I seen the confirmed list of riders, I was immediately just stoked because when any time riding with BF, we seem to have just too much fun. I seen Brian Foster, age 41, do an alley-oop into the big bowl under the audience of bikini girls with like written all over their bodies. It was super bizarre. It was like Twilight Zone. Growing up, I rode a lot of concrete, so this bowl seemed really like at home for me. I was really comfortable and I had some fun lines to do. I was just trying to fly around and not pedal and just use my pump and it ended up scored really well. I couldn't be happier. I'm heading down to the bowl right now and then uh, the finals. Qualified fourth yesterday, so I was pretty, just pretty stoked with that. So today is just going to be more good times. Captain the Penguin Rider! Yes! Oh! Oh! the quick Yes! One handed 270! I think this day and age with these kids, the new school bunch, they could take a lot from Chase's riding and learn. He always comes up with the sickest lines and he just rides a BMX bike like you want to ride it. Oh, oh mate. Dennis, he's one of the fresher new generation contest machines. All this new school kids that are just so hungry and whatnot for sponsorship and to become this pro rider. 
have a chat with Dennis and learn a thing or two and then just ride your bike. Daniel Sandoval took the win. Well deserved, you know, he rides really well. What? Is that a Huntington Beach? Yeah. Are you guys feeling Daniel Sandoval? Daniel is a kid that can just adapt and ride anything. He's that talented. The kid's gonna have a pretty long career and he keeps it up. The contest just got wrapped up. Everyone rode killer. And I ended up getting taken fourth place, so I'm super stoked on that. This contest had a sick vibe, so it was a real pleasure to be out there with some of my best friends. <laughs> on the next episode of Hanging Fowl. Cowbunga, fellas! Oh, yeah!